Auto insurance can be one of the most confusing and often overlooked items in the car buying process. With all their acronyms and random numbers they throw out, it can be confusing and overwhelming. Well, today I'm gonna demystify this auto insurance for you to help you make sure you get the right coverages for yourself. We gonna break it all down. We gonna talk about the difference between BI and PIP and med payments and liability and comprehensive versus collision. We gonna break it all down so that you know exactly what you're talking about, you know exactly what you're looking for. And we're also gonna talk about how you can get deals and discounts on your insurance and avoid some of the most costly mistakes because I don't want you to be like me. When I bought my first car, I knew auto insurance was a requirement of the state and I definitely didn't wanna be riding dirty. My insurance agent told me, you need state minimum. It's called liability insurance. That's what you need to drive. And it's the cheapest insurance that you can actually get. So being 18 and broke, I'm like, okay, cool. I'm gonna get the state minimums. I'm gonna have what I need to be on the road. My car's gonna have insurance and I'm gonna be good to go. So I picked that up and off I went. 18 months into owning this car, I learned all about insurance the hard way, AKA the expensive way. When a lady ran through a red light, not paying attention and smacked my Camaro, sent me spinning it through the intersection. My car was totaled, I was injured. It was a bad day, I was so sad. My car was gone, my T-tops and five-speed manual. I love, any. it was a bad day, but I learned something that day. I learned all about insurance, but I don't want you to learn it the expensive way like I did, so lock in for a few minutes and learn it the easy way by watching a quick little video. Let's jump into it. Here we have a six month insurance package queued up. I've already put in the basic information like my name, address, driver's license information, the type of car that's there. And this quote is for my 2016 F-150. And as you can see, we have four different options here. We have a basic plan, a choice plan, recommended, and even a custom plan. And for 127 a month for five months, plus $158 due today, we can have this policy rocking and rolling. But what's included? Let's get down into the actual coverages. So the first section is gonna be your basic coverages. And the first thing you see here is liabilities. Now remember, you are required by law to have liability insurance in most states. Be sure to check your state laws for specifics. Here we have two letters, BI slash PD, liability. And then you see three numbers, 25,000, 50,000, 25,000. What does all this mean? Well, it breaks out like this. The first number is BI, that's bodily injury. This is what's gonna protect you if you cause an accident. And with this particular quote here, we have $25,000 in bodily injury protection, that's per person, and we have $50,000 per accident. The last number here, 25,000, is property damage. So again, liability protection, this is what protects you if you cause an accident and you can cover somebody who's personally injured or somebody's property. Now, when you see these numbers, you may think that that's not a lot of money, and you would be right. If you've ever been to the emergency room, you know that $25,000 ain't gonna take you far. And that's where you can come in and adjust your coverages. You can save a little bit by dropping property damage down, that's $10 over the course of six months, or you could add $4 and bump that number up some, and you can go all the way up to as high as $250,000 per person, $500,000 per accident, and $100,000 in property damage. So when you see these numbers, just remember bodily injury per person, per accident, and property damage. And you're buying insurance based off of, first of all, what is required for your state, but also what do you wanna be protected from? Because remember, insurance is protection. You buy insurance so that you have someone like your insurance company who's gonna pay these big numbers and you don't have to. And you can see that the numbers that's selected here is a total cost of $299, and that is for the entire policy. The next insurance that you have is uninsured motorist bodily injury. And you have 25,000 and 50,000. This is per person, per accident. And this is an important number because when you look at the data, you will know that one out of eight drivers in America is uninsured. So remember, your liability protects the other party if you cause the accident. So what if someone else caused an accident and you're injured, but they don't have insurance? Well, that is where uninsured motorist bodily injury comes into play. 
Now we haven't got to your car. This isn't about your vehicle. This is about you as a person. And so you're buying some insurance just in case some goofball hit you and don't have any insurance. And then you can see it's this number here says non-stacked with non-stacked option. Now this is an option that's here in Florida and all states have different rules. So you have to check. I've lived in a couple different states and every time I move, it's always some differences in the auto insurance and what's required and what's offered. So here you can see you can decline it and save $73 a month, or if we want to up it, or we can go with a non-stacked option or a stacked option. And if you're in a state that offers a stacked option, what this means, if I click here and go with add a dollar and go with the same amount of coverages, but stack it, what that's going to do is it now, if I have multiple vehicles, it's going to stack that number. So if I had two vehicles with 25 and 50, of uninsured motorist bodily injury, well now it's stacked because I have two vehicles, we can double that number. So now it's 50 and 100. And that's an option that you could choose if you're in a state that offers it, not all states do. But that's your uninsured motorist. Can you do me a favor? Help me share this information. Find somebody in your circle who can use this information and send them a link to this video. I appreciate it. Thank you. Back to the program. Now, the next thing you have is personal injury protection. Now, this is again for you. So if you're in an accident, you have some type of injury. Now you have some type of insurance that's going to cover you. So you can see here, this has a $1,000 deductible. It covers basic work laws. It includes resident relatives. And if we click edit here, we'll see some different options. Now here we have a whole list of options, mainly because you can choose the deductible and you could choose whether it's gonna cover extended work loss or is it gonna just be basic? And do you want it to cover your resident relatives or do you wanna exclude resident relatives? And you can see that there are different numbers here. And whenever you're buying insurance and you're looking at deductibles, you always wanna pick a deductible that you know you will be comfortable with. And remember, accidents happen when we least expect it. That's why we call it an accident. So if you were caught off guard, how much of a deductible would you be able to cover out of pocket? But this insurance here, personal injury protection, it's gonna cover your medical expenses, lost wages, no matter who's at fault. And that's personal injury protection. So you have to make the decision on how you want that. The next thing you have down here is medical payments. Now, medical payments and personal injury protection seem like the same thing because you just saw that personal injury protection will cover some medical but medical payments is more specific. Medical payments is just that. This is the coverage that you would get that will cover medical care up to the limit that you choose. So included here in this recommended plan is $500. It's included and you can see I can decline the coverage and save myself $8 over six months. Or if I wanna bump that number up to $5,000 a person. So these are the type of options you have. And this is pretty cool because if you ever get an accident, you need to go to the hospital, ride to, in the ambulance, that could be a thousand or fifteen hundred or two thousand dollar bill. And this is why you want to have the right coverages. And this is why it's important to know what all these different coverages mean. Because if you just arbitrarily pick some numbers, you may very well be underinsured yourself or decline an option that could cost you thousands of dollars down the road and only would have cost you eighty six dollars for six months. So that's where this is at. Now, all of this is basically bodily injury, medical payments, property damage. If you notice, we haven't talked about your car yet. And that's where we're going to get in to now, because this is what makes up your basic insurance. This is your state minimums or liability protections. Now we want to get into your vehicle. And this is when you hear the words full coverage. I have full coverage insurance. Now, these are the coverages that specific to your vehicle. And a fun note, if you finance your vehicles, you might not have an option to decline these extra coverages. If you finance a vehicle, your finance company could dictate that you have to carry full coverage. And it's not a bad idea if you finance a twenty, thirty, dollars or $40,000 car because you want to have something in place to protect yourself if it was to be totaled. And here you have a few options. The two main things is comprehensive and collision insurance. So comprehensive insurance, let's go this way. Collision insurance is straightforward. That's if you're in an accident, this is going to cover your car. It's going to cover the cost of getting your car fixed. So when we look at the options here, 
we see you have a few different deductions. You can decline the coverage and save $146, or you could choose the coverage and pick your deductibles. And you see the deductible can go as high as $2,000. So again, you wanna pick the number that's going to be comfortable, something you can afford to pay with little to no notice. And if you notice here, every time you go up in the deductible, the cost of the plan goes down. That's because you're taking on more of the risk. And check this out, a quick note here. We talked about it's covering your car, regardless of who's at fault, but it also, this particular policy, will also pay expenses related to the injury or death of pets traveling with you. That's something people don't think about. Is your insurance gonna cover your pet if it's injured or die in an accident? And here you can see that that is included. So collision insurance is pretty straightforward. The next option you have is comprehensive insurance. Now, when we talk in full coverage and covering your vehicles, you have accidents, you have collisions, somebody hits you, you hit somebody, the collision is covered if you have the right collision insurance with the deductible. Now, comprehensive is basically all the other stuff that can happen to your car. Think fire, flood, theft, vandalism. That's all gonna be covered under comprehensive coverage. And the deductible works the same way as collision insurance. So you pick the number that you're comfortable with, and that's the amount you're gonna pay or the amount that you're gonna be responsible for if something were to happen. So if someone vandalizes your car and you have a $500 deductible, if it's $499 worth of damage, you wouldn't file a claim. You would just pay it out of pocket because if you file a claim, you're responsible for the first or the last $500. But somewhere in that process, you're gonna pay $500. But if you had a claim and it was $1,000, now you pay your $500, the insurance company covers the rest, and you're good to go. So comprehensive coverage is all the things outside of collision insurance. The next option you have here is your rentals. This is optional, but you have to think about it this way. If something were to happen to your car and you had to file a claim and it was gonna take a few days to get your car fixed, do you have a way to get around? And if you don't, then this is where you would add your rent to coverage on here. And as you can see, we have $40 a day and a total of $1,200. And this coverage is $17 for six months. The next option in this policy is roadside assistance. And this is a simple yes or no, I want it, I don't want it. Think of this as the AAA type service that's included through your insurance. You can call the roadside assistance and they'll come out for you. And those were just some of the most common coverages you're gonna run across when selecting your auto insurance. So now that you understand a little bit more about auto insurance, what coverage should you buy? That's gonna be based off of your personal situation. You have to start with whatever your state requires, and then from there, you can go up and add things that go above and beyond the state requirements. And that's gonna have a lot to do with your personal situation. When I was 18 and broke, all I needed was the state minimums. Even my car it was a cheap car, and if it got totaled, sad day, but not the end of the world. But if you're driving a really expensive car and you have a car note on it, that's where you want to get into the comprehensive and the collision. You want to choose a deductible that makes sense for you. And something that I'm not covering in this video, but there's also something called gap insurance. So if you buy a brand new car, or you have a car with a high interest rate, or you get screwed over in any of the hundred ways that you can get screwed over when you buy in your car. Gap insurance is there to ensure that you have coverage between what the car is valued at versus what you owe on it. And I made a full video on that. You can check that out. I'll leave a card to that in this video. But that's a different type of insurance that you may want to look for. Another thing I want to know is that as you build your net worth and you start to have some money behind your name, that's when you want to go in here and maybe up these coverages because you want to have more protection because a single accident could quickly exceed these numbers and then you'd be on the hook. So that's where you wanna start bumping up to higher protections and maybe even look at things like umbrella policies. But that'll make a different video on that. That was a lot, but I hope you now have a better understanding of what insurance is, what the ins and outs of it are, and you are able to go out and pick the right coverage for yourself. Now earlier, I talked about discounts and I'm not gonna leave you hanging. One of the easiest ways to get the best rate and get a discount on your insurance is to go out and shop multiple companies. Now this can become time consuming when you have to go to each company and put in the same information over and over and over again. 
and that may prevent you from going to five or 10 companies. Well, there is an easier way. You can use an insurance broker where you give them your information and then they go out on your behalf and submit it to multiple companies. That way you get five, 10 or 20 quotes back and get all these companies competing for each other. Now there are some other ways that you can save money on your insurance and there's a lot of discounts. And for that, let's jump back on the computer and I'll show you some discounts that's been applied to this quote that we've been talking about so far in this video. Discounts is gonna play a major role in your insurance and how much you pay. In this particular policy here, you can see that it includes $674 in discounts. So I'll click on this to give you some ideas of the type of discounts you can look out for. Here we have a sign online discount, pay in full discount. I've originated my quote on the internet discount, go paperless discount, multi-vehicle discount. My vehicle has airbags, anti-theft and anti-locking brakes. So I get a discount and continuous insurance discounts. This one is one a lot of people don't pay attention to. Since the time I was 18, I've had continuous insurance because I've always had a car and I've always had insurance. So you get a discount. If you have gaps in your insurance coverage, you can expect to pay a higher rate. And that's because they assume that you are a more risky driver. So you want to make sure that you keep insurance if you have a vehicle. Don't let it lapse because you are saving money by continuously paying your insurance. Let's go back to the last screen so I can show you another discount that people often overlook. If you notice here, it's showing me that the total here is $7.97, but I can save $106 if I pay in full today. If you have the means to pay your insurance in full when you sign up, do it. Because just about every insurance is gonna offer you a discount for paying your policy up front. When you break it down into monthly payments, you could have payment processing fees, transaction fees, and the loss of the discount. So if it's possible, always pay it up front. That way you can lock in savings from day one. Earlier I mentioned the different options up here. And real quick, I wanna show you, if we click here on basic, what you're gonna see is the numbers is gonna change because the amount changed, but also the coverages and the amounts and limits have also changed. So when you're getting a cheap quote, you have to understand that every number you see is gonna have different coverages. And this is super important when you're shopping your insurance to make sure that you're always comparing apples to apples. So if you selected a 2550, 25 here, declined uninsured motorist, and had a $750 deductible on comprehensive and collision, if you're shopping your rate and you're going from one company to the next to get prices, you want to make sure you're putting in the exact same information because as you can see, it's a big difference between $60 a month and $127 a month, but it's also a big difference in the coverage options that were selected. So don't ever get suckered into a lower price up front only to find out that you don't have the same coverages that you're used to or you have sky high deductibles. We just demystify auto insurance. We broke down the difference between liability and full coverage. We broke down all the major pieces of your insurance policy so that you know exactly what they mean. And that way you don't have to learn it the way I did. I learned it the hard way, AKA the expensive way. And by watching this video, I hope you learned it the easy way and it can save you thousands of dollars. Now, before I get out of here, I have to let you know that I am not a licensed auto insurance broker. And auto insurance laws vary from state to state and they can be drastically different. They definitely vary between countries. So before you go out and make a, a final decision, make sure that you talk to your insurance agent to verify every piece and get all your questions answered. And even better, ask for a copy of your policy so that you can read what the policy actually states. That way you're not going off of what somebody said, you're going off of what you can read and what's in black and white. And if you want more information on auto insurance, buying cars, selling cars, or how to get out of debt, this is the right place. I got a playlist right here on buying and selling cars. It's gonna have a lot of videos to help you out along your car buying journey. And until next time, my name is Diamond. Peace.